Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aaron Cohen. I'm a neurosurgeon from Goodman Campbell Brain and Spine and Indiana University Department of Neurosurgery. On behalf of the Pituitary Network Association, I would like to thank all of you guys for joining us this evening. I'm a neurosurgeon by training, and my interest is uh, surgical treatment of pituitary tumors. Uh, generally, patients have been previously seen by an endocrinologist or a referring doctor who has deemed a pro them appropriate for surgery. However, this evening, I will try to review not only the surgical treatment, but rather the diagnosis of a pituitary tumor and try to provide a general overview so patients who have been recently diagnosed with a pituitary tumor can make a better decision regarding their care. If you have any questions, feel free to use the chat function underneath the screen and Linda, who is the moderator, will let me know through my ear and I'll be happy to answer all of that for you at the end of the session. My slides and videos will take about 35-40 minutes, so be patient with me and I'll try to spend up to 20 minutes or more afterwards to entertain all the questions. So, let's see what is a uh, pituitary gland where the tumor comes from. It's a small bean-shaped gland located just you know at the skull base and I'm going to use a uh, model here if uh, if you guys hopefully will have a chance to see it well if this is half of the brain that you can see right in my hand this is the front of the head right there this is the side of the head right here you can see right at the base of the brain again this is the side of the brain this is the front this is where your eyes are this is right at the bottom you can see this little gland, little nodule that is actually the pituitary gland and it really gets a lot of control from the other side parts of the brain and when it grows it can push on the optic nerve which is right up here passing by and the other structures including the pituitary gland itself. So the tumor starts from the gland and then grows and pushes on the normal part of the gland so and that's where the symptoms usually come from most of the pituitary tumor believe it or not are benign and most people don't even know about it so it weighs less than a gram the pituitary uh, gland does and it's called the master gland because it produces so much of the important hormones in your body such as you know the hormones that control growth reproduction control the metabolism and really tuning of your um, bodily functions. So this is an illustration again from the side just like what I showed you and this is the tumor in yellow. The eyes are in front and the nose is in front and as you can see as it grows it pushes on this optic nerve and causes visual loss on both sides of your vision. So if you're staring at something and you have a big tumor you it may um, you know prevent you or restrict your field of vision on the sides that's how the eye doctor would know if you um, potentially have a pituitary tumor and also it pushes on the normal part of the gland again this is a large pituitary tumor looking from the side and this is looking from the eyes face on you can see the tumor sort of pushing so this is the pituitary gland right there and the tumor this is an MRI showing again the uh, pituitary tumor you can see the whitish gray structure right there this is the MRI as you look forward face on through the eyes just behind your eyes at the skull base here you can see the pituitary tumor with a darker area in the middle and this is usually a giant pituitary tumor they rarely get this size but again as you can see it's really pushing on the normal part of the brain and potentially on the optic nerves. So what about the pituitary gland and what are the hormones and how we can you know fix things is the pituitary gland itself has a front portion which is called the adenohypothesis and a back portion which is called neurohypothesis. The optic nerves as you saw they're just over the gland if this is the gland the optic nerve is right over it and if it's enlarged those nerves can get uh, pushed against. So if you can see in this image again you can see the tumor the optic nerves, the chiasm, and as it pushes on this it causes a change in the visual fields that the eye doctor can say where the two sides of the vision are restricted. So pituitary gland produces these hormones. Why is it important to know? Because if you have 